Hello there, students. I'm doing what you're doing, or should be doing. I'm reading my statistics book, and I'm looking at problems on Connect, and I'm following the class schedule. And if you've forgotten about the class schedule, remember there's due dates in Connect, there's due dates corresponding, exactly the same due dates in Pause, and then there's that schedule that uh, you had a link to that was given to you in the orientation portion uh, of the course. But what I want to do is I want to talk. Can you see all that? Let me get it up here. Look at all the things we have to talk about. Um, our homework being due and our extra credit and uh, more extra credit and a learning project and can you see this down here? Exam 4 is coming and I have my little uh, uh, pollen going down there at the bottom because it's hot outside. What a great opportunity to take advantage of our library or to sit inside hopefully in your air conditioning and work on some problems. Okay, so let's talk about uh, the things that we need to talk about. This is a busy week and I can sense that it's a little bit um, of a frustrating week also because um, you're getting into some new content and we're finding areas under the curve and areas in, in the case of a uniform probability, the area of a rectangle, right? And the new concept, the thing you really want to grasp a hold of is that when they're asking you what is the probability what they're saying is, what is the area under the curve? Hmm, maybe this is giving some of you a little idea. Area is probability. X values are values with units of measure, like money and pounds and things like that, right? Okay, so just a little bit of a lesson there. But let's talk about due dates. This Thursday night, um, your homework is due for Chapter 7 and Chapters 8. Your extra credit, which involves the use of Excel. And have you investigated Excel? Because Excel is wonderful. And Excel will help you do some of these things faster. Because once you set it up one time on Excel and you're sure that your formulas are right, you can change values and you can watch it calculate correctly. Okay, so because the point is to get meaning from this information. So you have the extra credit due for Chapter 7 and Chapter 8. Now, I do want to talk about one other extra credit opportunity, which is the eval that I personally am asking you to do for this summer. And of course, that's done through SurveyMonkey. Now, um, don't forget, you do need to submit that into the Dropbox. It is not due by this Thursday. Um, it's not actually, you can do it. You can do it right now if you want to. But it's not technically due until August, OK? Um, yeah, when the, when the course is over, I think was the due date I gave you, August the 5th. So, you know, just keep that in your mind because it's a great way to earn some extra credit points, okay? Now, let's also talk about Learning Project 4. The Learning Projects really are easy, folks. They're a quick a way for you to pick up 20 points. That's great opportunity. Now, not bonus points, 20 required points, which means that you have to follow the instructions. And some of you kind of struggled with that. Hopefully, what you're seeing now is that I really do read them and I uh, value what you say in them. So, if you're thinking about just kind of slopping some stuff in there, which some of you did, mm, Let's not do that because um, I want you to look at those videos. Those videos actually will help you with uh, the work, okay? They're examples. They are on target for what you're doing. They're not this extra thing to do. They're really part of the course, and I really hope they support your learning. Okay, so enough about that. Now let's talk about exam number four, right? Exam number four. Yay! You know why? Because it's going to test your knowledge on Chapter 7 and Chapter 8 so that you know you can really focus and bring it all together before we continue on. Because Chapters 9 and 10 are going to build on exactly what you're doing now. You're still going to be finding areas underneath the curve. You're, um, you're basically just adding a couple components to it. You're still going to be doing T distributions as well as Z distributions. So hopefully you're asking questions. And you know, whatever you do, don't let this just weigh you down and bog you down. You've got to address this stuff a little bit as, at a time. Um, don't do all this in one 10-hour uh, if you try to do that, it is the recipe for disaster, okay? It is really just going to blow up on you because you get frustrated. That's very normal for this time in the semester. 
Um, but what happens is you tend to send me an email with a lot of venom in it because you're just really upset. And when you're at that stage, um, it's hard for you to think. How can you work on a problem when you're just, Urgh! so you don't want to get in that position? How do you avoid it? A little bit every day. A marathon runner does not train by running the day before the marathon for 24 hours. They run a little bit every day. And I know you don't want to hear that, but that is the key to success. Do a little bit every day and you will get faster and you will get uh, your understanding will grow okay it really will and if you need help you have time to discover that you need help and to, to email me if you do a little bit every day okay so now let's get back to uh, exam number four here's what you need to know it covers chapter seven and eight as we said there's going to be three questions on chapter seven very important chapter chapter seven there's going to be two questions from chapter eight and of course chapter eight as you're seeing builds on chapter seven okay it is going to be the normal range of time this weekend from Friday through Sunday night I'm gonna send you this in an email also but you know plan that time now if you're working on the exam uh, Sunday night what am I going to do with you? Because you are laying the foundation for disaster. This is when you tell me, give me the emails that say a storm came, my electricity was out, my computer gave me trouble. Well, don't wait till Sunday night. You need to be working on it Friday. I realize if you're working, you may be tired. Well, then how about Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon? Okay, use Sunday as the backup just in case day, in case you didn't, you know, didn't get to it. Okay, if you're working on it Saturday, then you're going to be fresher. You're not going to be under the stress of the deadlines okay now of course time limits apply I'm giving you a little extra time on this one I'm going to give you 110 minutes okay 90 minutes is an hour and a half so I'm giving you just a little bit extra but if you've been doing the homework you're gonna go oh this is that problem where I right now let me give you a caution when you're doing this homework and you're submitting the answer, you still need to go check your work, even if you got a hundred on that homework. If your, uh, if the calculation, if the correct answer was 0.4, and you got 0.45, Connect may mark that right because you're within the tolerance. But why did you get 0.45 instead of the exact right answer? could be rounding problems that's a big issue and remember I've cautioned you about that before if your calculator is displaying four numbers it knows many more numbers than that you've got to clear it out of your calculator write it down type it back in and then you're probably going to get exactly the right answer let's say 0.4 now if you're doing that and you're still not getting the right answer maybe you're just lucked into something that was acceptable Okay, so you need to make sure that you have the process correct. Compare what you did and how do you compare that because you're writing it down. Remember how important I told you those steps are to write it down and to not just do everything in your head. In this way, after you submit it, you go back, you see how the system graded you and you make sure that you're doing everything correct. Okay, so five questions, 10 points each. Um, 110 minutes I told you that it's this weekend remember that the feedback is delayed right so it takes five days before you can go back and review the the detailed grading people don't like to review the detailed grading because you feel like oh, oh it's just coming after me okay but you need to do that because um, you need to improve your understanding especially on chapter seven and eight because they will not go away you will be using the same formulas um, with additions to them um, in chapters 9 and chapter 10 so you got to make sure you understand um, I'm gonna send you the password in an email the password this time is bell as in you're ringing a bell b-e-l-l -L. Um, you get one attempt as usual make sure you're on a reliable computer you've got good internet if you know the storm is brewing you get one attempt one attempt okay so we've talked about everything the due dates your homework seven and eight extra credit the learning project chapter four and exam number four and by this point in the semester you're very familiar with the feedback so I hope it helps and if you're getting stuck on those problems email me don't forget don't tell me it's number two because your number two is different than everybody else's number two copy and paste that problem the more information you can tell me about what you've been doing the better I can steer you in the right direction and explain 
something where you might be having some confusion okay and I don't mind doing that at all so feel free to email me when you get stuck hang in there guys I know it's frustrating but you can do it okay hang in there